Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to an NBA 2K22 news video. Now, today was a lot of news that we've been searching for. It's not any gameplay. I'm just going to go ahead and get that out the way for you guys. What it is, is the features that will be coming to the city, as well as the new cruise ship. Now, I know you guys are probably like, what the hell is going on? Why is there a cruise ship? I'll tell you guys all about it, but we need to get into this video. Let's get it. Oh, don't forget. Drop a like on the video. Appreciate it. So we all know that 2K Sports is one of those companies that is trying to learn how to be more transparent with the consumers. They've actually been more uh, accessible to the public and stuff like that. So everything that we will read here, um, they have had some of the devs tweet out. They have had some of the marketing team tweet out. And basically all of the creators and influencers and Reddit uh, forum pages, like everybody is now buzzing about what's going on. What's the plan for NBA 2K22? The game game drops on the 10th of September. We are a little bit about a month, month and a half away from the game coming out and we're just starting to get everything ramped up. Just last week, they got um, a couple little TV spot trailers and stuff like that dropping and now this is news about the city for next gen and the cruise ship for current gen that's ps4 xbox uh one next gen is ps5 xbox series x all of that so funny thing it says the estimated read time for this article is five minutes and 42 seconds i don't know why they put that there but you know god darn well this video ain't finna be no five minutes and 42 seconds it didn't make sense i read slow okay what you trying to say 2k I know it's estimated, but what you trying to save, man? I'm just going to go ahead and put that out there. But listen, it says NBA 2K22 is about to tip off, and we've got some exciting news to share with you before the release on September 10th. Now, if you remember, there was something big going on last week when all of this news started dropping about the pre-orders, what the cover athletes, who they were, what was going on, and they didn't know if next gen and last gen was going to be dropping on the same day. I'm here to report to you guys that next gen and current gen PS4, PS5, if that makes it easier, will both be dropping on the same day. So both communities are going to get the game at the same time. Funny thing is, I don't know where I want to land. I don't know if I want to land in the city. I don't know if I want to land on a cruise ship. I may try both, you know what I mean, and try to like balance them, but... I actually want to see what both experiences are going to be like because just last year we were able to go to 2K Beach, see what that experience was like. And then when the city came out, some of us who were able to get a next gen console was able to do so. So I definitely want to see what both experiences are like. My PS4 is behind my setup, but I do have a PS5 that is able to play PS4 and PS5 games. So I might try it. But um, so basically it says it's been less than one week since the reveal of this year's cover athletes. And, you know, they just want to give you a taste and all of that. So it says um, on the court gameplay, key on court gameplay improvements are being implemented to give the player not only more control over how they score the ball, but also how they counter those moves on the defensive end. So they're breaking down the offense, breaking down the defense, and they're telling you how they're going to make both better. And I kind of always don't feel right when a game says we're going to make two sides of the ball, which one side has always been better than the other, how you're going to make both of them better. They're never going to be even. There's never going to be a moment where a defensive player feels like they're not caught in quicksand. There's never going to be a moment where an offensive player that doesn't know how to chain his moves is going to get past a defender that just has great on the ball defense. So there's kind of like the, that, that, that tick for tack thing, but they say that they're breaking down defenders off dribble with new signature moves and combos, precision jump shooting, which precision jump shooting scares me because of course shot aiming seem like it's coming back. I don't know if they have an answer for all the Zins out there, but they said that they're, that it's coming back most likely. Um, dunking in traffic, pulling off alley-oops have all become more skill-based. Basketball IQ and stick skills play an even bigger, even bigger role in separating top offensive players. I'm going to be honest with you. If you consider pulling off alley-oops, dunks, dunking in traffic, shooting, moves, and combos, then I have great basketball IQ and stick skills. 
and I'm an old head. Okay, cool. So for all the younger players out there that play games like Fortnite and stuff like that, have very good hand-eye coordination, probably going to be able to kill this game, right? Defense, a completely revamped shot contest and blocking system. That was one of the huge issues last year. Blocking shots, shot contesting was all bad. Yes, there were builds out there that had 25 overall defense ratings across the board. But for us other builds who had great blocking, great shot contests, long arms, uh, high steal ratings, we all suffered because of that. You know what I mean? So now that defense probably is going to get a little boost, it makes everything a little bit better. So they're saying that things will be a lot rewarding. Perimeter defense is going to be a lot better. So hopefully we see something from that. Now seasons. A cross fan favorite experience. The seasons allow players to extend and enhance their hoop ambitions long after the game's launch. Free for all 2K22 gamers in my team, my career, the W, which is making a return, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S. Modes, it brings more content, more rewards, and more ways to play. And this year, Seasons will introduce an all-new way to level up your mod player and earn exciting mod player prizes in the city and in the neighborhood. So they're going to be doing everything for all modes, all games, across the board, every gen, right? Now it says more details will be revealed about the expanding seasons experience later in August. So the way that I look at it, if anybody remembers where, when you used to be in my park and used to be able to play like some of those games from the actual like NBA season, they're probably pushing that up to the forefront to give people more events, more dailies, more stuff, more reasons to get online, more rewards to probably make you want to log in on a day to day and say, you know what? I want that. I want this. I want that. I can win this challenge. No problem. Easy. Let me hop on. Let me do these dailies real quick. And then you probably hop off right after that. If you're not somebody that's grinding for legend. All right. My team, I'm going to be honest with you. My team, I love you. I'm going to go ahead and let this sit right here for about three seconds. You can pause the video. You can read it up. I honestly do not care about my team at all. Never have. But let's move on. All right. So a uh, new city, PS5, Xbox Series X, and new neighborhood for PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, PC, all that. Right. So we all know PC is staying in last gen. I don't know why they don't move into the next gen. It's probably because they don't want to try that cross progression. And I'm sorry to say, yes, cross progression. I'm sorry. Cross, cross play is not coming. So, yeah. Um, sorry, cross play. Look like it's a L. Yeah. But um, the biggest online basketball community gets two very different makeovers in NBA 2K22. PS5, Xbox Series X, 2K22 players will step up and hoop in an all-new version of the city. PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC 2K22 players will compete while setting sail for the high seas. Now, remember when I was telling you guys about the cruise ship? This is what I'm talking about for last gen. So, um, let's see. Uh, live breathing city, right? Um, for PS5 and Xbox Series X, step into an all-new city teeming with life, activity, and interactivity. So, it's going to be NPCs, non-playable characters will populate the new city layout. So, I'm guessing there's going to be more people on the street. That's probably going to create more online issues, lag, stuff like that. Hopefully not, but I'm just giving you guys the real. Um, they will allow you to populate the fresh city layout while my players from all over the world compete in the highest level of playground basketball. An all new quest system for 2K22 engages my players with creative content while offering new ways to level up and earn rewards. And this um, re envisioning of the PS5 and Xbox Series X and S basketball communities. If you remember, warehouses used to give you like the double rep and stuff like that if you played those warehouse challenges. You would get rewards. You would get that rep. You know what I mean? You, you can work on your player without having to hit my career. They probably have not revamped it, but expanded on that and built it out into the city so we can see that. You know what I mean? And probably is probably going to make it a little bit better to, to watch other people do it or something. Matchmaking. <laughs> I'm just going to say matchmaking options in the city. Perfecto. Um, hopefully it works. Day one. No problems. Yay! But if it doesn't, ah, you know what I mean? But the city opens up a new and quicker alternative to get into online hoops. My players can enter select matchmaking buildings and be placed into immediate competition. Matchmaking sessions will be available for a number of game types and will contribute to all my player progress. All right. This one right here is funny. 
all aboard the 2K cruise. <laughs> um, on the PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC platforms, NBA 2K gamers will show out and compete in an all new dedicated basketball community, a neighborhood built on the spacious decks of a sailing cruise ship. So it looks like no affiliations for uh, last gen. It's going to be one online uh, setup. But what they did say was. Um, and when the cruise docks in exotic locales throughout the season, make your way to the excursion counter to participate in shoreside events, all taking place completely off ship. Now, from what I've heard is that some people will probably, they'll probably dock a ship and it'll probably go to some place like Egypt. You know what I mean? It'll dock at Egypt. You'll see all the pyramids like the, you know, basketball gods theme, you know, stuff like that. And you'll play at the shore of that, even though I don't know how Egypt short. Never mind. OK, um, more news ahead, more new features, more uh, content away. All my players in both the all new city and the all new 2K22 neighborhood. Stay tuned. Right now, let's talk about my career for a moment. This right here is probably the biggest gut punch. But honestly, I believe it was time to leave the storyline in the past. We've had the storyline since, what was it? Was it 2K15, I believe? Or was it 14? It was, it was. I think it was 15 because 14 we had the bare bones. It was the, no, actually, no, I think 14 kind of like started a little bit. No, nah, but it was probably 15 though. So basically what it is was... 2k decided to give us more options to like make it feel like we were real basketball players our storylines went with you know the struggle that we went through and stuff like that but it wasn't a uh a decision based type of storyline like choosing any option of what to say to certain people wouldn't really change too much of the outcome it might change like maybe the next cutscene or the way like a game came out, but it wouldn't drastically change the way that you would probably go to the D league or, you know what I mean? The deal wouldn't go through and stuff like that. Cause most of the time deals usually came back around the fold anyway. Like say for instance, you didn't want to do this. Basically you would say, oh, I don't want to do this F them. And you might go with somebody else, but you really, as soon as you get to the party, like, yo, I really want to do this. So you used to be able to, you know, mess up a contract with a shoe deal uh, and then go and revert and go back to another deal. So that's how those things went. But basically it says uh, the new thing is an NBA 2K22 for for PS5 and Xbox Series X, my career in the all-new city become one in a groundbreaking narrative experience for NBA 2K. Embark on your personal journey to the pros of sprawling my career life by exploring the city, seeing new and familiar faces, and hooping your way to exciting new heights. Players on PS4 and others will play out the NBA 2K22 narrative in a dedicated traditional my career experience. All right. So, hidden talents for next gen. In NBA 2K22, dreams and ambitions in my career stretch beyond the hardwood floors. Players can now pursue side ventures to build a profile in a lucrative and trendy space. Brush up against the fashion world where the art of promotion will drive your success as a mogul. A mogul. That's, 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 that sounds crazy. I'm wondering, is this something where we build up something and we can make residual VC on that? But maybe I'm thinking too far. Maybe I'm thinking too dope. But or get involved in the hip hop business where your music talent opens up an intriguing lane in the industry. Somebody like Dame Tom, stuff like that. Fashion World, Kyle Kuzma, people like that. You know what I mean? So I'm I'm hoping that this will provide residual VC earnings and stuff like that off the court, just like have they've done over the years. You know what I mean? With different uh, deals and uh, endorsements and stuff like that. Maybe this is something bigger and better and to add something to it since it won't be much of a crazy storyline. Right now it says no place like home moving up in a professional world means expanding your home lifestyle central to your my career narrative and progress. Your personal hub represents your place in the journey to the NBA as your profile and ambitions level up. So too will your home base in the city. As far as home base goes, are we talking my court? Were we talking like a section 
portioned off to the for the city where it's like whenever you see it in your city that's your section of the city where you can go to and do what you will and nobody will be there or a place where you can invite people or is that just like a place where it holds all your stats all your accolades all of this and you can level that stuff up like can you put like maybe a one court um, park there eventually make it a, 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 a full court turn it into a 2v2 type setup can you expand like you know what i mean how do we expand on that what's the level up process for that will we be using the land and the city as a way to level up things around us like maybe we don't want to go to the nba store all the way over on the other side of the city maybe we could have a small central hub nba store if we're building and doing construction and stuff like that like can we build on that or is it just something that's all about stats maybe i'm thinking too much more to the journey um my career nba 2k22 will feature fresh faces and, and engaging storylines and this year getting drafted into the nba is only the start of your basketball narrative uh, more will be revealed about the new my career experience in early September. It's probably a week before the game comes out. My NBA and my WNBA, they got some stuff. Um, I heard that um, my league players or franchise type players were pretty mad about this, um, mainly because they feel like features are missing and stuff like that. So I'm not sure if they're going if they're going to expand on that later, but. You know, to everybody out there waiting on this type of news, I'm sorry that you guys didn't hear anything. They gave you literally the last paragraph of the entire courtside report. But uh, biggest takeaways. The biggest takeaways is definitely this right here. Match making options. That's the biggest takeaway. It's the best takeaway. Everything else is placebo. We, we, we love that they're trying to do different things, but we have to have the game in our hands to make sure those things work as well as matchmaking. But, hey, yo, I got next. We have been tired of hearing that for years, years. So for them to bring in matchmaking, which I knew they could do, you know what I mean? I knew they could do that. You know what I mean? They've done it so many different times and so many different instances. And I believe that that was the dev team testing it out to see if it will actually work without breaking everything. And year after year, they tested on matchmaking and hopefully they got a grip on it because last year Pro-Am was still messed up. I'm just going to put that out there. 2K21 next gen, Pro-Am was shot. All right, so hopefully they have fixed all of that. We heard no rec news. We heard no pro-am news. I'm guessing that this was all city park related news. I'm hoping that they have a whole courtside report for com more competitive play, pro-am, rec, 5v5, traditional basketball, no uh, crazy dribble moves, no crazy alley-oop packages and all that. Uh, no, you know what I mean? I'm hoping that they have like something built out where it's straight for the sim heads that want to play that type of league style play. And hey, it is what it is. But my watch has ended. I told you it was going to be a long video. I hope you enjoyed the long video. But um, make sure that you leave a comment on your thoughts. Um, I've been tweeting things out. I've been putting stuff on IG and, you know, just trying to keep you all updated as I get updated. So, you know, follow me there on those platforms. And um, I'm about to go start up a Facebook gaming stream. So if you're into my streams, make sure you guys follow me on Facebook as well. All the links are in the description. I'll see you all next time. Peace.